Hello. In this video I want to talk about one way to potentially deal with tree roots that grow into your vegetable garden. Now in this garden right here I'm showing is I'm digging a uh, hugel culture and it did very well for me last uh, trials I did so I'm switching the rest of my garden over to it. But as I'm digging down I'm noticing, as I've noticed before, all the redwood roots really form a mat in the top eight inches of my soil. So I have these huge redwood trees that are right next to my garden and every year they, their roots find the irrigation lines and form these nice redwood mats underneath it. So one way I'm thinking of um, actually using this is because I want this to be a no-till garden. You know, in the past, if I just dig down one shovelful and break all the roots, then it'll be okay for a year. But then the second year, the, the mats, and the third year, the roots get too so dense that the vegetables don't grow very well. So, what I'm going to do is, and I did this last year, is I dug a trench, a foot and a half trench, or one and a foot deep trench from one end of the garden all the way to the other end of the garden area in between the vegetable, vegetable beds and the tree. And the idea then is that I can then cut the main roots that are coming into the garden and then all this beautiful, wonderful, um, you know, redwood these roots then that are in the garden here would then just die and decompose and actually help add organic matter to the garden. So I'm really kind of hoping this works out because every year, like I said, there was absolutely no live roots you know, for the first eight inches of soil at the beginning of this year because I dug it. And then what I what you could see though is all these things have just grown in all in one summer. And the vegetables did okay even with all these roots here, but I figure if I can just uh, kill the main taproot coming into the garden, then that would uh, be wonderful because it would add this amount of organic matter to the garden every single year. Now one other thing I want to show is up here, you know, I have some more, another big redwood tree there that hits the garden from the other direction. And he said I did do a slice, you know, I dug this trench up to protect the garden up here from this tree. And I marked, I marked the area off. Meaning when I did dig this, here's a, I just redug part of this trench. And when I dug it early in the summer, early in the spring, actually, I, I marked this area as where there's a big root, and I just redug it to see if the roots came back, and they did. There they are. So one of the ideas is I'm gonna dig a trench and mark where these main roots are. So then I can dig back in the same position each time. Then the other thing I'm gonna try to do, which I didn't do this year and should have, is where the main roots are coming into the garden, I will put a, a drip line above it. And I will just give a very light drip throughout the summer so that the top, maybe four inches of the soil, stay wet. And that way I can lead the roots from the tree. I can lead the roots right into the garden that way so that way I'll know where the roots are, and so hopefully I won't have to dig a, dig a trench every single year. I will just have these little drip line leaders that I'll just dig those up and cut, and the roots then will form where the drip line is. So, I haven't really tested this out. You know, I just dug a trench one year. And the other question I have is I don't really know how deep I'm going to have to dig. I dug a foot and a half, and I'm going to try digging trenches about three feet this year to see if there's anything below that once it rains and the soil gets loosened up. But hopefully I can use these trees, rather than just be upset with them, is I can use these trees for adding organic matter to an no-till garden every year. 